What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Planet Base. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today. Actually, we made it to morning without any major power issues. In the previous episode, I was a little bit worried about power issues like wiping us out at some point. I'm also slightly concerned about the fact that no biologists are arriving. How come nobody is coming to my spaceport? Do you guys not like my spaceport? I don't know if I want temporary visitors right now. It seems like that might be a bad thing for me. Like, I don't want to have all kinds of people trying to blow up my shit. I don't know why people are so angry at our planet base. But for real, they keep coming in and trying to blow us up, and it makes me sad. I don't like it. I keep... I, they say that they pay for stuff, but I don't really need the money for anything. I mean, I guess the money would be nice for just, like, random purchases and whatnot. And so I'll give it some thought. But for right now, everything's running pretty well here in planet base I think I'm in my home stretch right now for playing the game I'm pretty happy with what we've done and what we've designed I don't feasibly see how I'm gonna do like 30 more episodes of the game and plus kingdoms is coming out and also I got kingdom come coming out there's a lot of games with the word kingdom inside of them right now is what I'm really noticing so is this like really good for making them happy like how much does this help out I don't know if I could train on one of those wheelie things it doesn't seem like that much fun I don't know. I hate running on treadmills. I have to run outside. I usually find trails and stuff, and I'll run those. I enjoy cross-country, like, tremendously more than I enjoy running on a treadmill. I get bored on a treadmill, like, real, real fast. And boredom is the enemy of jogging. Like, if you've got to learn how to meditate while you jog, which is totally possible. Meditation while jogging is actually, I think most joggers do it if they do any sort of distance that takes more than maybe 5 to 10 minutes. If you run for 30 minutes to an hour every day like I do, you have kind of like a zen thing that goes on your head where you just, like, slip. It's almost like you're asleep in thought. I don't know how to describe it, but like you're running and you're just moving along, but in your head you're absorbed in contemplation of whatever it is that you're thinking about. And I get kind of cross-eyed when I do it, so I wear glasses when I run because I look kind of goofy. I'd be like, ah, running straight at you. They'd be like, oh my god, who is this weird cross-eyed guy that's running straight at me right now with that look on his face like somebody just dumped something pleasurable in his lap. And I'm like, it's me! It's Splattercat. Splattercat's the guy who likes to have the things. I, there's not really a whole lot left for us to build right now. We're kind of just waiting on colony ships that never seem to come. I don't know what has happened to my great and wondrous kingdom. But nobody seems to want to join us anymore. I would love for people to come here and be like, Hooray! Your society is awesome! Pat on the back. Hooray! But it just doesn't seem to work like that. And I can't tell you precisely why. Still, we're going to wait it out for right now. I built a little more of an extension down here. Looks like people are kind of using these. Hey, there you go. Go run on a treadmill. That'll make you feel better. Everybody loves running on treadmills. Yay! No! CR43Y! CR43! You are my hero. Oh, shit. Am I still making driller bots? How many driller bots do I have? A lot of driller bots. I should probably make some more carrier bots. Is that one? That one's a constructor. Just make carriers. Whatever. It's cool. Just work on carriers all day, every day, because I'm tired of, like, moving stuff around. It takes too long. And every single carrier bot we have, I mean, it technically replaces maybe, like, one worker. I'm not really sure. Everybody seems really unhappy around here. But I'm just like, what else can you do aside from give them ample facilities where they can drink themselves into a stupor? And even then, they don't really seem to like to use it that much, so... Meh. I think people are having problems with, like, pipelining down into this part of the base. And, like, wanting to exist down here. That sleepy... Or we got a sleepy area over here. My suggestion would be that maybe... We do something like this over here. And let's say that I go right there. I'm going to try and surround this with personal quarters so that while people are sleeping, they start feeling better. I just want to make sure there's enough areas for people to rest at night. We got a big dorm or a medium dorm, and we got a bunch of the little cabins. But I'd like to have bigger cabins, I guess. I don't know. We'll start slotting in some larger cabins so that they can get a little bit of morale back while they sleep because they have their own personal bed. And they don't got to lay down on a pillow with somebody else's stink on it. I think other human beings smell. I don't know. Am I the only person that holds their breath when they walk by people in, like, a supermarket? I'm just like, eh. I don't like the musk that people exude. That smell of, like, cologne and body odor that, like, everybody has. I don't know. It's not about deodorant either. I've got a really sensitive nose. 
that's the thing that I would mention right here. Everybody in my family has like a really, really sensitive nose where like I smell stuff. The other people are like, you smell that right now? Because I don't smell anything. I'd be like, yeah, outside it smells kind of like woody and it smells kind of like, how come there's no oxygen in here? It's so odd that the oxygen keeps dropping. Huh. I don't know how to explain that right now. I mean, I'm going to install another oxygen generator over on this side, I guess. Just to, like, help out. Maybe there's too many people over here. It's just, like, too condensed. I'll add one right there, and we'll see what happens. They're going to have to go a long-ass way around the horn to get over there, though. That should be one of our final buildings that we build over here, though. So it shouldn't be that long of a walk. It should be okay. But, yeah, got a sensitive nose. Got a pretty good sense of smell. I don't mean to brag or anything. We are running out of food right now. And I would adore it. Like, what is up with our immigration? Like, what is going on? Like, we have had, like, nobody lately. Go ahead and just yellow alert that. Don't go... Try and keep as many of these dudes inside the base as I can. I feel like I, load I loaded my save today, and there's a lot more problems than I left behind. But it's possible that I just didn't think about it before I left, but... I'm still not completely sure. Here, you guys do cow meat or something. I don't know, maybe that'll make people happier. And then you do piggy meats. Mm, I love pork. Pork is so delicious, it's like the best. Here, rat, why are you still outside when I yellow alerted you, sir? Sometimes they ignore the things that I tell them to do, and it makes me want to cry. There we go. And so that's done. No alert. Access privileges should be fine. I don't know. Turn on all the ships. I'm not really sure. We'll have to keep an eye on it as time goes along. This is one of those things that I'm not entirely positive what's going on with our colonization. I think we got a biologist in the previous episode, but I haven't seen anybody come in in a while, so... It's been at least a couple days since our last person came in. Beers are looking good. Minerals are looking solid. Starches are actually on the decline, which I don't mind that much. That seems okay to me. I can work with that. With our landing permissions... How about we just default these? And we kind of just see what happens here. If it ends up working out, then I guess it works out, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, but... Little bit confused about why we haven't had anybody land in like three or four or five days now. Maybe I just haven't noticed though. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention well enough. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and build some more cabins over here. How big can the cabins be when I build them? Like, can they be pretty, pretty damn large? I'm gonna say we should do that. What is that, a trader? I guess we got a trader, so that's pretty cool. I have medical supplies. I would say to sell off the starches right now, but I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen if I do. Ooh, you only got a 40% commission too, huh? Well then. Are starches on the decline? Sort of. Maybe it would show greater wisdom in this case than to go in on things that are a little bit less time-consuming to transport. Oop, that wasn't what I wanted. I'm just going to take your money for right now, pal. It's all that I care about right there, and that virtually guarantees that it's going to be a little bit before, you know, anything else goes right for us over here. Spares appear to be falling off pretty rapidly. Got the cabin right there. I'll probably build a couple of these. Just as a short-term fix. And so that should help out a little bit with Morally. Once Morally's been slightly evened out, how are you guys doing right now? Good. You're only carrying over a couple of things, and that makes me happy. Why are the funds into my accounts? I don't know. It sounds awesome when you're like, why are the funds? It's just, why are the funds what? 
We've run out of spares. Of course we have. That's because nobody ever seems to work the spares workshops. It'd be good if they did. There's a couple right there. And he should finish that job as well before it goes any further. Yup, 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 yup. Pending resources. There's only one guy carrying little minerals trying to get it done. Looks like veggies are holding out okay. It's just meat that's being a little weird right now. You know, we've had nothing but trade ships now for seven or eight days. I need more colonists, like, desperately. We're in an expansion period right now where I need more workers because I have too much random stuff going on, and yet workers have not been gifted upon me by the gods of the RNG universe. So I don't know if maybe they changed the way the mechanic works. I saw a biologist come in a little bit ago, so... Who knows anymore? Who even knows? I still don't even know if that can be increased at all. It seems like I don't frequently have a lot of people watching the guns and paying attention to meteorites, so... Eh. Still. I'm gonna repair that out there. Spares are still up by a couple. Hopefully people continue to work on them because we need lots of them. O2 generator has been built. What's our population right now? 178. Can you guys seriously... Do your jobs. Like, I wish you could just click on a thing and be like, always man this. Like, always, no matter what, if you're not manning this, I hate you, you know? I guess prioritize that right there. I guess we can try and prioritize it, I guess. That might work. And maybe that'll keep somebody on the gun. Oh, look, we got another trade ship, but still no colonists. I will take both of your robots. For all of your monies is. Yay, robots! Join my fleet of robots. Hopefully you are a fleet of feet, robots. Because if not, you will be beat. I like to beat robots. It happens every now and again. They don't have feelers. They don't know. It just makes me look bad, so what do you care? <laughs> so we've got a meal maker over here. They're watching TV. These two cabins should be pretty close to done. Although not quite. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some cabin bunk beds over here. And hopefully this works out. I'm trying to find a passive way just to get rid of unhappiness while we're out and about here. Looks like it gives us room for three extra beds, which is not too terrible. It's not amazing either, but it'll work. What I could really use is more workers right now, but they don't seem to want to give them to me. I don't know if we've hit some kind of like soft cap or something. I remember running into that when I played Banished. I hit a soft cap when I was playing that game, and it really drove me crazy. I don't like it when games have, like, caps on how many people you can have in your colony. You just keep going until the memory allocation fills up and everything crashes, and you're like, No! Go through bioplastic pretty quickly. So I'm going to prioritize that position right there. And hopefully we can get a couple workers in here mashing out some plastics for us. If you can fill those in with a little bit of starch, that would also be 100% acceptable. Food appears to be mostly even right now. So 177. I'm going to keep an eye on this over here. Because I'm not totally sure that I'm not just missing. It might just be because it might be a perceptional thing because the spaceports are way up towards the north side of our base. I may not. It looks like we're only getting trade ships, though. Like, I don't really know what else to say about it. Like, I strongly feel as though we're only getting trade ships. Take the spares for right now. Yeah, I feel like we're only getting trade ships. Take a look at our charts. Yeah, the amount of colonists we have is actually decreasing. We haven't had a colony ship in almost a week. I wonder if they've changed it so that... The colony ships are far less frequent now, but they give you way more people? Because, I mean, we've had almost a week right now, and our population is actually in decline at the moment. Which is sort of a weird thing to notice. And so I'm a little bit terrified to continue expanding and, like, working on things because we really, we're just building facilities that nobody is able to utilize at the moment. Which is not something that I really feel like is worth my time. 
That guy's morale. Definitely, he needs a good sit down. If he could just sit down, he'd be all right, I think. So these are all going to be owned by random people. That's another grouping of colonists taken care of. Another little section of space used as well. Probably try and do the same thing over here. But much past that point, I feel like I've put in quite a few cabins now so that a large portion of our population, they'll be getting the morale back while they sleep, which means that that'll free up services like drinking and, you know, bar tabs and things like that for other people. But we'll have to wait and see, I guess. We will just have to wait and see. Power's looking good, as far as I can tell. If we can keep spares up and running, that'd be great. Everything else is pretty much just us watching the game unfold and hoping everything goes well. Got a lot of unhappiness problems up here in the top right, too. I think that must be due to the fact that I just simply don't have the facilities for these people to be properly happy. I do see a lot of people drinking up here. And unfortunately, that's not something that I can really retrofit. Yup. It's gonna be a tough one. That's gonna be a tough one. We got another trade ship over here. It's got semiconductors. It's also got robots. Don't care about anything that you've got. I'm starting to wonder, I don't know, I'll keep an eye on it for another week or so, but I'm starting to wonder if we're bugged or something like that because we haven't had a colonist since forever. Like the game's pacing seemed pretty good before, so if they changed it, I don't know why they slowed it down. If nothing has changed, then I'm just sour graping, but we haven't had anybody. Hmm. No more trade ships for right now. I'm just gonna hang out right here and just like see what happens. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's a pretty expansive base though. That got big like fast. I didn't realize how quickly it would just like shoot out all over the place and grew like a weed. Huh. Wild. Still, you've got to wonder, like, I, I think I would volunteer to do something like this. Assuming that they would give you gainful employment or something and that it would totally be, like, worth it. I wouldn't see a problem with it. The transit time would be confusing because you got to assume, like, maybe we're pretty far out. I mean, assuming we have, like, sublight drives or something like that, that still means the transit time would probably be something absurd. Unless we figured out how to... I don't know, do some kind of warp gate or something, and like, but do 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 and you just go through a gate and pop out somewhere else. It's kind of wormhole, but aside from that, even at light speed, travel anywhere in the galaxy seems like it would take goddamn near forever. Interesting. I may try restarting the game after this episode and seeing if that fixes it or something. I'm not really sure what's going on. Not a single colonist was to be had. Strangely enough, semiconductors are stacking up, which is pretty cool. Means we should have enough people to work on robots or whatever else. Eventually, we should be able to have, like, a real fleet of robots. And they break pretty quickly, though. I think the robot HP needs to be increased by, like, maybe double. I don't know. The robots break too frequently right now to really... Even with repair centers and even with people working, like, around the clock to make more robots, you can barely replace all the ones breaking. I mean, in all honesty, I wouldn't complain about it too much if the robots were almost permanent, aside from, like, meteor strikes and the stuff that kills other people. Just because they're so expensive to make, and it's very, very... It takes forever, too, in terms of, like, the amount of work and manpower that has to be put into one of these things to get it created. It just takes a while. And so, yeah, I think their HP definitely needs to be adjusted, but much beyond that, I like the game so far. Huh. Still no ships. Very, very weird. I wonder if I need some kind of, like, broadcast terminal or something now. Like, did they change it? We got a radio console. I wonder what the radio console does. Install a radio console real fast. Maybe it gives us, like, events, like distress calls or something, like you have in RimWorld. 
Seems possible. Seems Johnny on the spot with that meteor. Sometimes they kill him so fast you don't even notice, and then other times they just seem to dilly-dally the entire time. There's a colony ship! With visitors. Nah. Thought we were fitting to lose a guard there for a second. All the visitors seem to be hostile so far. Got rid of the armed intruders, so that's a problem taken care of. You do not have the right to bear arms in this station. I mean, if you really, really, really want to mess with our Ursine friends, you gotta go through my security team first. I don't support trophy hunting. Oh look, he's getting in bed right there. How awesome would that be though, to just get like bed rest afterwards? Let's assume for a moment that pain and suffering is taken out of the equation. So what does this do? Radio antennas need to be monitored at all times. It doesn't say what it does. It just says that it's a radio console. Alright, well, whatever. Hopefully somebody goes over there and works it. If they don't, we won't know for a while what the radio console does. But I'm sure it'll all work out fine. I'm going to go ahead and... Are we still at 177? We're still at 177. So I'm going to go ahead and try and reset the game. I'm going to cut this episode off a little bit early. And hopefully we get a colony ship. Maybe they just made it more sporadic, actually. Because it used to be formulaic. Like, it felt like it was pretty much like... Da, 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 da. You get people. What is that? A visitor ship? How many visitors are here? That visitor's thirsty? You better pay me for some water, son. Oh, you have a contagious disease? Bro, what's up with that? Contagious disease is walking up in here. Did I mention we don't have, like, socialized health care? You better, you better go over here. You got your health card with you? It's going to be $72 million for us to treat you. Yes. All I'm going to do is give you an ace bandage, but it's still going to cost $72 million. Anyways, I'm going to break the episode off and maybe see if... I don't know if it's seasonal or something. I'm not really sure. I mean, right at the time that I say that I'm about to do something like that, it seems to fix itself, so... Who knows? I'll see you in the next episode of Planet Base. Hi to everybody.